Speaking of holiday sales, electronics were once again the hot item this year. From the new Xbox to tablet computers, just about everyone wanted some sort of gadget for Christmas. If Santa brought you such gifts, I've got some news for you in your daily.com. Whether you upgraded from your old computer to a shiny tablet, joined the masses and traded that flip phone for a new smartphone, or Santa was really good to you this year and replaced your tube TV for an HD television, you'll want to make sure those old devices are disposed of properly and that doesn't mean shoving it into the garage to collect dust. These days it's all about recycling. See, cell phones and rechargeable batteries can contain toxic metals. We're talking nickel, cadmium, and lead. If put in landfills, those materials can leak toxins into the ground, which could ultimately end up in the water we drink or the fish we eat. Recycling has its benefits. Some donate cell phones to soldiers or charities. Most manufacturers even have take-back programs of their own. Another purpose to recycle is that usable phones are often donated to seniors or victims of abuse just in case the needy have to call 911. The Environmental Protection Agency estimates that some 789 million mobile devices are at the end of their life, ready to be recycled. Locally, you've got Pensacola Recycle or Mobile's Equit Ecycle where you can drop off your used goods. Then, of course, rechargeable batteries or cell phones can be taken to Radio Shack, Best Buy, They'll take back just about everything. Computers, laptops, TVs up to 32 inches, printers, even monitors. And just so you know, Best Buy will take back larger TVs, but there is a cost. So, I thought this was pretty interesting. Of all of the electronics that are recycled, the EPA says computers are recycled most, while TVs take up the bulk of e-waste, 60%.